that different? Say hi! talking about stuff. We don't know yet. We asked you guys on Instagram what you wanted us to answer. And if you haven't followed me on Instagram, it's at Kara Graves. I'm done. I'm done doing my like YouTuber thing. All right, bitches. It's I better. look like a stoner boy. I like stoner boys. <laughs> okay, ooh, what do you fight about and how do you handle conflicts? Define the word fighting. I feel like maybe that means any sort of like argument or disagreement. We don't get into like <laughs> Fist fights over here, and we don't get into yelling fights either. I just wash my hands. I just really picked <laughs> down my teeth. <team. laughs> <laughs> what should we draw? I was gonna say like it'd be cute if we could like paint something and then have it be a surprise to the other person and be like, "Merry Christmas! Here's your gift." But we're literally oh. sitting right next to each other, yeah, so no, we can see what we're painting. Work. I know what I'm gonna make. What do we fight about? Who gets the last? food thing. Who gets the last bagel? Oh yeah. It's like food related or like maybe someone feels like they put in more work than the other person to like maintain yeah. the house or like whatever it is. The motto for our relationship is to be honest. And yes. so we don't really get in fights because when we are feeling like something's up or whatever, we tell we the person. Immediate, like every time we notice something is off with the other person, we're like, hey, you good? Like, do you want to talk about something? Yeah. Is there something that like I did or whatever? And then we just talk about it in the moment because it's like we need to just get it over. We need to get this conversation over with to like yeah. continue on with our happy lives. If you don't discuss it, like feelings could be pushed down and then you just seem to forget about it. But that also builds tension and resentment. For years or time to come. Exactly. And so the best way to do it is just talk it out when you're feeling something. something. Exactly. This is cute. Do you have any goals as a couple that you're working towards? This is really hard to do two things at once, bitch. I'd say a big goal that we have is making sure we're both healing together. Yes. You know what I mean? Like that's a goal, which will always be a goal is that yeah. we're both like healing and taking care of ourselves and getting to be to the best people that we can be the best version of ourselves. Yeah, I'd say that's our goal. And in turn, working on your own self-love helps you learn how to love the other person. Recently in my life, I've discovered some things that I have not been giving myself empathy for. In doing so, I wasn't giving Lauren that type of empathy either because mm -hmm. I wasn't being kind to myself in that way, so I wasn't being kind to Lauren in that way. Yeah. We also want to travel more. The majority of our relationship so far has been throughout the pandemic. So we haven't been able to really like explore new places and travel. So I feel like that's one thing that I kind of want to do that more. Yes. Okay? Yes. yes. Okay. I'm letting my paintbrush slide up and down the canvas. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I can lick it, I can ride it while you slip it and slide it. Do you like mine so far? I love the grass. They're grass. This is mine so far. Sorry, it's you can't. Cold. Sorry, you can't see it. Ooh, this is a great one. Fave takeout to get together. Okay, oh. we are. We are big foodies. This whole entire work, 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 work. <laughs> this whole entire week, I'm like, I don't feel like cooking. I don't feel yeah. like going out to the store and buying groceries. Like, hard to order it. Everyone has to admit that the food in Toronto is like next level. There's some of the it's, best chefs like live in Toronto. I no, swear. seriously, like it's a place to go for food. So if you ever come to Toronto, like you have to try different cuisines of food. We've been into a lot of different Asian cuisines. Yeah, like Korean, Vietnamese, uh, dumpling house. In Toronto. This? <gasps> Did you just drink out of it? No, but Yay! I always don't. Okay, I someone needs to wipe a <sighs> brush in there so we know that it's not water. I literally jinxed it before filming this video. I was like, Lauren, we need to put our water glasses not on this table because we are going to drink the paint water. Lauren, you're low key really good at art. Like, <laughs> This is like a three part question. Oh God. Who proposed, what do you have mostly in common and what do you love about each other? I proposed fist. Kira was mad about it because they wanted to propose first. I like being the dominant. Duh. And I was like, and like the like initiator. I proposed to Kira on Woodbine Beach in September of 2020. No, no, it was late August or 
Late August. It was either the last day of August or the first day of September. I don't remember. Yeah, whatever. Virgo season. If you're a Virgo, <laughs> hit us up. Let's be friends. I took them to a specific spot in Woodbine Beach where we first said, I love you to each other. And Kira was like, I didn't even ask the question. I, What's going on? or something. <laughs> I think I like forced my hip flexor too hard to crack it. It's this stone <laughs> Oh god. You're, you're gonna heal <laughs> and you know your body's gonna heal <laughs> too. Yes, I got a rotocrosite today. I actually had a dream I was gonna get one. Look at this beautiful so stone. What was the question? What was the question? I don't know. <laughs> what do we have most in common? Our love for food. Yeah, we love sleep. Yes, we love deep conversations. Yes, we don't like bullshit. No, we're both in the film industry and we have the same vision of where we want to be. And we both love um, music. We love music. music. We love nature. We love hiking. We love yeah. camping. Um, Pretty much road trips. Like literally all everything. All the Taurus things that you could think of, we have in common. And um, that's that. That is that. There's more where that came from. Who made the first move? Kira just wanted a one night stand. Okay, I mean, Hey, just wanna take a little moment to talk about today's sponsor, Audible. I've been busier and I've had to multitask a lot more. So listening to audiobooks has been like my favorite way of learning new information lately. If you are not just a visual learner, then people can learn better by listening to something. So I totally recommend using Audible if you are that kind of learner. My favorite way to listen to Audible lately has been cleaning. <laughs> I hate cleaning and it makes the time go by faster. My therapist actually recommended me an audiobook. It's called The Upside of Your Downside. I told her that I was dealing with a lot of like heavy emotions, a lot of darkness. It's kind of a way to think about your darkness in a positive way. I'm on chapter four and I'm loving it so far. Audible is the best place to listen to whatever you're interested in. From best selling audiobooks from every genre, Audible originals, and even popular podcasts and more. As an Audible member, you can choose one title a month to keep for your entire catalog, including the latest bestsellers and new releases. You can download or stream all titles anytime you want on the Audible app. The new included selection of titles makes the Audible membership so much more valuable and gives all members a chance to discover new favorites and new formats, like the exclusive words and music series or podcasts. Let Audible help you discover new ways to laugh, be inspired, and be entertained. New members can try Audible for 30 days, so you can try Audible out before committing to it. To do this, you can visit audible.com slash Kira or text Kira to 500 500. I like, I didn't expect when I met Lauren to be like in love with them. I was just like, oh, like a hot girl is coming over and, <laughs> and, they're, and they're like, bye. So I'm like, you know what? Maybe something will happen. But I didn't know you yet. I had never met you. I was just like, oh, a hot girl's coming over. Cool. Little did Kira know, I am not the one nightstand type. So that was not gonna happen. We met in LA. By uh, a good friend, Georgia Bridges. Georgia Bridges. Lauren was like, I'm gonna go and get more alcohol because we're getting lady titty tonight. Lauren was just gonna take an Uber by themselves and was like, Who's, who wants to come with me? And I was like, I'll come. And we didn't really talk too much before that. For some reason I was like, I just really wanna be near this person. I don't, I don't know why. The whole night we were playing Cards Against Humanity and I kept choosing Kira's cards. I was like, you have the same sense of humor as me. Interesting, you keep picking all my cards against humanity cards you think i'm funny and we went for a walk in the middle of la like at 4 a.m by ourselves which in hindsight Probably could have been dangerous the best idea <laughs> could have been dangerous yeah and we talked for f the whole entire night we were up all night and it was like amazing because i was like why do i feel like i know you like already? yeah i felt that as well and then later Lauren was gonna like sleep on the couch and I was like, you can like sleep in my bed. <laughs> yeah, and then who made the first move to like kiss each other? It was both at the same time. Yeah, it was both at the same time. It was cute, it we was... both started like inching. Yeah, it, it, like it was like a movie. movie. Yeah. It was like a movie kiss, it was insane. Have you received any uncomfortable comments about being a married queer couple? Well, we didn't necessarily get like happy uh, responses from everyone when we told people we were married. We received happy comments from <laughs> some, people. some people, yes. Yes, some of my family members weren't too pleased. They also weren't too pleased that I told them a year later. But you know what, that's our choice. That's, that was our choice, exactly. What's it like to be married young? My girlfriend and I also got engaged young at 20 and 22. Aww. Aww. We have a lot of mixed emotions when we tell people that we're married. Like, 
I find that a lot of older people are like, <gasps> But you're so young. Why did you decide to get married so young? And this is how we respond. We're just like, it is what it is. Are buddy. you done? Are you done? I think that sometimes older people might project like their own maybe experiences. experiences onto other people. Back even in our parents' era, like, you know, there was a lot more pressure to get married and there still is in certain cultures with like young people getting married. Some people got married young because that's what they want, like their parents wanted them to do and what society wanted them to do and everything. And then they were kind of forced, so they weren't like 100% ready. And then maybe they got into like a marriage that they, you know, didn't feel 100% about. Yeah, we usually have shock and they're like, wait, how old are you? It was the right thing to do for us. Everything felt very organic. Honestly, marriage doesn't feel any different from dating. Yeah, like, and some people ask, like, oh, what's it like being married? It's Literally the exact same. Thing. Nothing really changed except for knowing that you have kind of that seal of commitment that, like, your partner was willing to, like, go as far as to, like, get legally married. And we also, like, got married in a pandemic right before a stay-at-home order like a lockdown that was like intense intense we planned our wedding in a day we planned our wedding and that is a story for another day how have you helped each other grow as a person i want to say one of the major things that we help each other with is like listening and empathy and, and giving a safe space to the other person <gasps> Or if someone's upset and like say the other person, like it's hard for them to relate, but they don't invalidate the other. Like we validate each other. Like everything we're feeling is valid. And like, I'm never gonna blame or shame anyone for like feeling a certain emotion, even if it's anger yes. and even if it's anger towards me. Ever since Kira introduced me to spirituality, my life has been so much better. And overall, I just learn from you every day. I have learned a larger sense of empathy and love towards like, Nature and animals, not mm -hmm. just humans. New artists you love. I like, knew this was gonna be ass. One of them is Krung Bin. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. They're a band from Texas and they make like psychedelic rock. They have two albums, EPs with Leon Bridges and that's kind of how I found them. Oh, Sampa the Great. Yo, she is so oh, cool. yeah, she's she is so good. I listen to a lot of chill beats, lo-fi hip hop. There's this really good artist named Mondo Loops. He is very chill, meditative. Okay, I'm gonna be done really soon. Me too, me too. Okay, wait, I, uh, 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 uh. Okay, so. I'm trying! The question was why didn't you do a big wedding with both of your families in attendance? Well, you see, I'm from America. It's kind of hard. Uh, when you're from two different countries. Yeah, we got, we got married in Canada and the borders weren't even open. Yeah, they were closed. For any so. of Lauren's family to come. My family didn't really know, except my sister. So that's why they weren't there. But we still had a dang good time. We had a great time. We had some lovely friends come and support us. Yeah. How's winter treating you? But she came in like a wrecking ball. <laughs> like I swear. She genuinely did. The winter blues are real. The winter blues are year. so real. Like the energy is just low and we're doing lots of self-reflection and Which is great. Which is great. And like we're just using it to our our advantage. Being like, let's do the things in winter that we can't really do in the summer. We can do it, but it's like we want to be outside during the summer. Cool. Pencils down. Pencils are you ready? down. Are you ready? Yes, it's a root chakra and it's also the clitoris as the root chakra. It's so good. The, and we have to the clitoris slash root chakra that's like the, the dot in the middle is spinning. It's so good. Thank you. I didn't really know what I was painting, but this was on the mind. Wow. Red. I had elephants on my mind. A red spinning root chakra. Oh my god, I'm so like artsy. Oh, artsy. Look at my oh, hands. Yes. Artsy queers. Thank you so much. So then we're doing you, yeah. Yay. Thank you so much for watching. This was so fun. Thanks for sending in your questions. Go follow me on Instagram at Kira Grave and check out Audible. Yay. And we will see you in, in my next video or I will see you in my next video. I might too, I might pop yeah. in. Pop in. Show a cheek or two. <laughs> Butt cheek or two. <laughs> Mwah.
Love you. Bye. Good night. Good, good night. Good, good day. Good, good morning. Good afternoon. You're the best. Bye. Bye.